Nicaraguan courts awarded over $800 million in compensation to more than a thousand plantation workers and their families, but the U.S.-based pesticide makers have refused to pay up. However, the case is now being heard in France, where those firms have significant assets. The workers' lawyer, Stuart Smith, explains why they hope to find justice in Europe. There were originally cases filed in California. The courts in the United States basically said it's better to file your case in your home country. The defendants removed all of their assets from those countries, so there's no assets to seize in those countries. So you would then have to take that judgment and try to seize their assets to satisfy the judgment, and that's the process we're going through now in Europe. France uh, uh, is, believes in the rule of law, um, and uh, they certainly are aware that um, you know the proof is in the, in the record of the case. These men were tested. Um, their sterility was documented. Um, and so it's time that they be compensated. The companies being sued are Dow, Shell, and Occidental, but they say the Nicaraguan courts lack jurisdiction. Efforts to obtain compensation in the U.S. have also failed. Dow said in a statement that the French courts would not find the judgments enforceable either. Lawyer Stuart Smith again says it's time for the companies to pay up. The chemical causes sterility in men. In other words, they're unable to have children. It affects the spermatosa in men to where they cannot fertilize a female. And it also increases cancer rates among women and men. I felt that these victims had not been compensated and they, they were really significantly hurt by this. And uh, we took up the case and we're going to collect these judgments or, or settle these cases one way or the other. Uh, these companies are gonna have to pay these people. That's our global news update for this hour, but don't forget you can always head to our website, rt.com, for the details on all those stories and many more.